Okay, hey guys, so I'm finally back from my trip. I was back a couple weeks ago, but I've been really busy, so it's been a lot of like, you know, just getting everything back in order. But while I was gone, um, my roach colony did really well. Um, I fed many of the roaches to my frog, but I wanted to show you guys how I actually culture my um, roach colony. So these are <clears throat> these are little Kenyan roaches, and I got them from CapeCodRoaches.com. Um, I bought from them a couple times. They're really good. Uh, in case you do want any feeder insects or pet insects, they have quite a bit of selection. So, uh, my little Kenyan roach colony, they, the roaches themselves only grow like, you know, a quarter inch, half an inch max. So they're like small crickets, but that's the size of the adults. Um, here I have my water bowl. Um, you might see some of the roaches underneath this stuff. That's my water bowl, so um, just like a lid some water and some gravel. So the gravel prevents them from drowning. Um, you can use like the little cricket cubes but I prefer to just use this. <clears throat> it's just more simple. Uh, I, I try to increase the surface area they have to crawl on. There's a juvenile right there. Um, I'll zoom in and show you guys later but anyway. Um, I like to you know increase the surface area so that they have more crawl space and because it's quite it's a decent sized bin but you know you can have it bigger. They're, they they do like heat, but uh, they don't require it like dubias do to culture. So I'm, I've kept them pretty cold. Um, I do have a heat pad though on the side of the, the bin. This is an adult roach. That's about as big as they get. Um, they're not they're not really intimidating. Dubias can get quite big, but these are like small feeders. So this is some cardboard I put in. Um, some of the the babies like to climb on this cardboard. They also do eat it, so you can see a lot of juveniles on this cardboard. So their population increased quite a bit when I was gone. I got these before um, I left for my trip, but uh, they were doing well, but not this well. Like there was a lot. There's a lot of juveniles now. I fed many of them though. So show you that. So those are more adults. I fed a lot of the adults so don't have as many. And these roaches are very nutritious. I feed them, well I haven't fed them today, uh, this week but um, of course they'll eat the paper towel and the cardboard but it's not really nutritious for them. You want to gut load your animals so you know I feed them fruits and veggies. <clears throat> they'll eat pretty much anything though. They're not really picky on what they eat. Temperature, I don't know even why I have this in here, but because they don't really care for it. So, they do hide in the tubes occasionally. So there's more of them. So if you're looking to culture, you know, smaller feeder insects, because the babies are about the size as fruit flies. So if you have darts, they will eat them. Then, I encourage you to pick little Kenyan roaches. They're really new to the hobby, so a lot of people don't have them. It's really simple, really. You don't have to do much to get these ones to culture. Um, they're certainly a lot less work than fruit flies are. Fruit flies are much more work because you have to make cultures every week. This roach bin, I actually haven't really cleaned it. I just replaced the paper towels and the soil occasionally, and they actually like the dirt. They like to be filthy. So, I mean, it makes it easy for me. Um, they culture decently fast, but uh, I suggest if you like one a lot then you should have multiple bins. This is not big enough if you have like a lot of animals. If you have a lot of animals then I suggest you um, invest in, in larger bins and buy more to, uh, as a starter colony. Overall I would recommend Little Kenyans. I actually bought them as cricket replacements for my white street frog which is a juvenile. So it eats, it eats uh, small crickets. Uh, I bought them as replacements because I was tired of going to the pet co to buy you know 32 crickets out of which like 10 are dead five are like going to die so the roaches are a lot hardier they don't require heat they require some misting but um, you know this is a closed bin so I always put the lid on top and just open it for air 
other than that, you know, they'll pretty much feed anything. Don't have to worry too much. Uh, I know some people keep them with bean beetles, which like kind of produce mealworm-like larvae. Um, it's a kind of darkling beetle, uh, basically just to clean the roach bin, but um, I don't do that. I haven't started that yet. Overall, I'm like really happy with how the culture has been doing. Um, I bought 50 as a starter colony. I, I believe I have about double of that now, but I can't count. You can, this is a fruit fly, you can, you can dust them, dust them before you feed, which is probably a good idea, but they're quite nutritious on their own, which is good, and they're fast, so they, and they move quite a bit, so they really, um, bring out the hunting instinct and trigger the feeding instinct in reptiles and amphibians, so, yeah, that's about it.